everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today is a day off. It's a Monday as well, so it's a nice way to start the week. Sorry if my voice seems quite dry or croaky. I had a really busy week last week with short haul flying and plans for my birthday and I just did not stop. And I still haven't had a proper full like night's sleep since, so I think my body is very tired. However, like I said, today's a Monday, it's a day off, and I've got quite a lot of things planned today, so I'm just going to take you along with me. We're starting the day really well. I'm going out for breakfast with Kaylee, Keely, and Ashlyn, so my sister and my two friends. We're just popping down to a place in Leon C called Sarah's Tea Garden. Ashton actually lives now in Carlisle, so we don't get to see her that much. So it's nice for her to be coming down this way, so we're taking the opportunity. We're going to see her this morning and start off the day with a nice breakfast. <laughs> That was a lovely way to start the morning. I feel a lot more awake now. I was so tired this morning and we were all kind of regretting the early booking of the breakfast, but I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we got up. It was really nice to see Ashlyn. Obviously, Keely's been down for the whole weekend because we had some other plans over the weekend as well for my birthday. So we had to say goodbye to her on the way back. And now I've got lots of other little bits to do. I need to basically do some makeup. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Me and Kaylee are going to a concert later today. I will take you with us. It's actually only about one o'clock in the afternoon. We took our time with breakfast this morning and I have actually just come home and caught up on some Love Island before picking the camera back up again. But I'm going to get my nails and toenails done for my birthday. <laughs> it's just nice to have them refreshed for your birthday, isn't it? So that is what I'm doing. Just bringing the mirror in so I can see myself. And then pretty much straight after that, we need to head into London for this concert. So I need to get ready before my nail appointment, basically. And I thought, whilst we did that, I'd pick up the camera and chat to you guys. And I remembered that I haven't actually spoken to you guys about my travel plans this year yet. And this is mainly a bit of a travel channel, obviously, because I'm coming great. So I thought I'd tell you the details on my travel plans for this year. I'm hoping there'll be more as we go along. But there's a few. So I'm just gonna fill you in and get ready at the same time. So my next trip as cabin crew, which isn't really a travel plan, but I'm gonna include it because it's very exciting. If you watch my roster reveal, then you will know I'm going to LA this month with my friend Josie. We're going as crew, so it's not actually a trip as such, but we did a buddy bid. So we're going together. I think we've got a whole day to ourselves, plenty of time to go to Disneyland. So my first trip that comes up is gonna be California. I'm obviously gonna vlog it for you guys. Oh, I just noticed, look. Obviously I got food down me when we went for breakfast. It's not very often that I go for food and don't get food down me, so it's bound to happen. Oh, it's such a nice feeling. I can't open this. Anyway, yes, travel plans. Because I keep going off topic because I can't do two things at once. Yeah, my first travel plan is going to be Disneyland California with Josie. I'm sure you'll get a nice two vlogs out of that one actually, so look forward to those. We also got our rosters for July last week, so I've got a few trips that I'm going on in July, but obviously that will be revealed in July's roster. However, as for actual travel plans that I have booked and prepped myself, that aren't trips as crew. The first one that I have planned is in August. Me and Ryan are going to Cornwall in August. We're going to Newquay. We went there last year. We didn't vlog it last year and I regretted it straight away. It would have been too early for Ryan to be in a vlog anyway because we only got together in the May. So probably would have been a bit too soon to be fair. <laughs> I think I actually have a story highlight from our last trip. So you can go and check that out. I didn't vlog it, but you can see that. But yeah, we are going again and I am gonna take my camera with me and vlog it. We're going for six days, five nights. We're going from Monday 
to a Saturday. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. We're staying in a hotel called the Atlantic Hotel. It's just in the center of everything. So that was the most important thing for us. We have our favorite beach down there called Lusty Glaze. It's just so beautiful. Last time we went there, we went for one of their sunset sundowner sessions and it was just gorgeous. Never seen anything like it. It was such a clear day. We had these singers called Our Atlantic Roots. They were like a, a couple. And one played the guitar and sang and um, she sang as well. And they wrote their own music. They're all on Spotify if you want to go and check them out. I am obsessed with them. And it's mainly like slower kind of country music, which is my kind of vibe anyway. But honestly, it was stunning. I've never had an experience like it in my life. And we just sat there with some porn star martinis. We watched the sunset. We watched them sing. So we're going back there again. We can't see as of yet if they've got any sundowner sessions when we're there. However, they have like little cinema sessions, like outdoor cinema sessions on the beach. And one of the days that we're there, they're showing Moana. And we just thought like, how perfect would that be to sit on the beach? and watch Moana. And they do like um, homemade pizzas that they make there as well. So we're gonna definitely spend one of our nights on Lusty Glaze Beach eating pizzas, drinking porn star martinis and watching Moana because that just sounds like a dream. And Ryan actually messaged me the other day and was like, he knows I get travel sick quite badly. So he was like, would you go on a ferry? And I was like, yeah, I'll do anything as long as I'm aware that I'm probably gonna get motion sickness and I need to prepare by taking a tablet. So I will absolutely go on a ferry. I'd never heard of it before, but he found this place called Isles of Skilly or something if you've ever heard of it and it's this tiny little island just off the coast of Cornwall and it looks unreal and you can get a ferry there I believe you can actually fly there and I think he said it costs like 35 pounds or something but obviously we're gonna vlog the whole experience so we'll let you know prices and details and how easy it was and everything on the vlog so stay tuned for that I think we're gonna go and spend a day there which will be really really nice that'll be something different because we didn't do that last year but also something we did do last year that we'll do again is this little boat trip you basically just get on like this tiny little almost like a catamaran boat i think it was i can't really remember scheduling a time and you saw like the seals just like popping their heads up whenever there is a boat that came past Apparently they always like pop their head up and they did, which was really cute. The main reason we went was because there's a potential that you might see dolphins. They don't specify it in their advertisement because you never know if you're going to see them. But yeah, we went mainly for that in the hope that we would see them. And we did. And it was the most amazing thing. I just couldn't believe it. It felt like we were in the Caribbean somewhere and we were literally in the UK. It was unreal. So we're definitely going to book and do that again this year. And that's all of the plans that we have so far. We haven't built up our itinerary yet. That will be happening soon and we'll figure out all the things that we're doing. And we'll definitely take you along with us on that trip. The next trip that we have after that is in October. We have Disneyland Paris booked, which is obviously very, very exciting. I'm going with Ryan and he's never been before. So I'm really excited for him to see it. He's not a massive Disney fan. Like, well, he is a Disney fan, obviously, but he's not a Disney Parks fan. He's never been to any of the Disney Parks before. And he has openly said to me that it's not something he would do if he hadn't have met me. So it's going to be totally new for him. So we'll see how he gets on with that. I'm kind of nervous because I know it can be quite overwhelming for people that don't know what to expect. So I'm hoping he's going to really enjoy it. But we've planned a little bit of a longer trip in the hope that it won't overwhelm him and we don't have to do too much in such a short space of time so we're going in october we're going for halloween four nights five days so we go on a sunday and we leave on the thursday we're staying on site which is very exciting we're flying there which obviously my last trip we were meant to fly there but we didn't all gonna be a bit different i think i've never experienced disney at halloween before so that's totally new mine's never been before full stop so that's totally new yeah it's gonna be a really good trip that's sort of everything that we have booked however there has been talk of other trips <laughs> and obviously i'm gonna go on a lot more trips as crew as well so plenty more to come from that i think i mentioned it in my last video or one of my recent videos but i'm actually in the process of becoming a independent travel agent i just need to crack on with all of my stuff basically because i've been so busy recently i haven't had a chance to do any of it so i need to make it a priority once i've done that the first trip I'm going to look at, potentially booking, is one for myself. <laughs> because me and 
Ryan have recently been looking at Portaventura World. We're looking at going in potentially in July. Just heard really good things and it just looks so good. And me and Ryan spent the entire day the other day looking at all the videos of the rides and the water park there and everything. We were pretty much stuck to theme park worldwide and watching all of their videos from their trip. And we just fell in love with it and we'd really like to go. So I will be booking trips for other people, but that is going to be a trip that I really want to go on for myself. It doesn't look like it's going to be too expensive, actually. The prices for, like, the park tickets there and everything look quite good. So it should be all right, but when you've already got a trip to Cornwall, you're going to Disneyland, Paris and California this year, you've got to budget stuff. I don't really know where I'm getting this money from. I'm pulling it from god knows where i live in a dream world half the time thinking i have loads of money and i don't <laughs> the thing is i don't even think i have loads of money i just think that i can pull it out of nowhere and then ryan's like babe where are you getting this money from and i'm like honestly don't know that is a trip that i'd really like to go on so if anyone's actually been before and have any tips or tricks or ways of making it a bit more budget friendly please message me but so far that is all of our travel plans. So not too much going on, but we do have some and that's only gonna extend because I like to go on holidays. And also I'm cabin crew, so I go lots of places all the time anyway. So I'm sure the number of trips will grow this year. I am running out of time. I am gonna be late. I need to get like fully ready for this concert because Katie's gonna drop me up my nail appointment and then she's gonna come home, get herself ready and then pick me up again from my nail appointment on the way to the train station to go into London. So it's a bit rush, rush, rush. I don't even know what to wear. And I've got 15 minutes. Okay, it looks a little bit scary in this lighting, but it's not. <laughs> I promise that no need to get dressed. Okay, apologies for the state of my room, but I'm dressed, I'm gonna show you the fit. I don't know how you're supposed to dress for a concert, but here we are. So I'm just wearing this little top that I'm pretty sure I got from Shein. Some wide leg. I think these are Jack Wheels jeans. And then my little pink New Balances on the bottom. And I'm wearing pink New Balances because I've got my salt rock bag to take with me. And the reason I'm taking a bag that big is because it's going to be hot in there. But it's quite chilly outside today. So I thought I'd wear this brown jacket to go with it. Then I could fold it up put it in the pink bag. I normally would dress like more black and like grungy vibes for a concert but it's a pretty chilled concert to be fair we're going to see a group called new rules you might not have heard of them before they're not crazily well known i guess but we watched them when we went to see little mix they were the supporting act and we sat and booked for their first concert whilst we were waiting for Little Mix to come on. So we fell in love with them straight away. We've already been to a concert before and now we're going again. Kaylee's taking me for my birthday. But yeah, we're just gonna go and listen to their music. It's so good. Like it is, it's almost like a little mix of maybe Five Seconds of Summer and One Direction kind of vibes, but a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more mellow, but it's all like acoustic as well. Really good stuff. But I'm not gonna take my camera with me to the concert because that makes me very anxious. <laughs> so I will film some stuff on my phone for you, but first, Gonna go get my nails done. The nails are done. They're like all sparkly. When I went there, I said to her, I want a set of nails that is gonna be good for birthday, Disneyland California, and also Hendu. I've gone Biab now, so I'm a Biab girl. And it's like quite pinky. So she just added like a layer of glitter on top. Look how pretty they are. I love it's them. Raining. It's just started raining. Neither Ugh. of us have hoods. Oh my God, your hair. We're probably gonna go for a quick Maccas or something when we get there and then go and see new rules. Are you excited? Yes. She's stressed. Basically, what that yes meant was I'm stressed. We still don't know how we're getting there. Uh, obviously by train, but like what stops? We don't know. We're still trying to work out parking. It's all a bit crazy. So I'm going to love you and leave you on the camera. Sorry if the quality changes, but I am switching to my phone. We're going to go, so I'm going to say goodbye to you in the camera. And we'll see you at the concert. She took me Back to the joy part.
that concert was so good those boys are so talented it's a joke i don't know how they're not bigger than they are there was a section you would have seen it where they turned off all the mics they like unplugged all their guitars and just did everything acoustic and they asked for everyone like to be in total silence it was so amazing like i got like a little bit emotional towards like the end of that bit so it was just like stunning it was just so nice that a room full of people just in complete silence well i say complete silence there's always one or two isn't there yeah it was so good so so good i knew they were talented but like they just get better and better every time i'm so grateful that i got to see them they even sang like a little bit of disney as well they like merged one of their songs into Hercules Go the Distance which was really cool that was a nice little extra so they knew I was coming I know it was so good and I'm so grateful for being able to go so thank you Kaylee for taking me we've just got home and actually wolfed down a bit of birthday cake <laughs> and we're going to bed because we are so so tired I've got to take all my makeup off now this is why I don't wear makeup because it's just ag isn't it and get ready for bed so I am going to love you and leave you. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little day off vlog with me. It's been quite a busy one, to be fair. But now you're updated on all my plans. But I am going to bed. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.